Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a lip swatch video. These are new, they are the Tarte Rainforest the Sea Lipsticks and I was doing a little Instagram story unboxing yesterday and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a lip swatch video of all of the shades because I swatched a couple of my arm and I was really impressed with the texture. I didn't think I would like them that much. I don't know why. I feel like I am discriminatory towards stick lipsticks at the moment because I'm so used to like liquid lipsticks. But I love stick lipsticks. I forgot how much I love them and these definitely felt like an amazing texture. So today I'm going to swatch all of them on my lips for you. I haven't actually tried any on my lips yet, so I'll give you a little first impression as well. And then to remove my lipstick each time I'm going to use these. Oh, I love these so much. I'm not sponsored by Tarte, by the way. I just really like these. I used these for the first time the other day. And they are so freaking effective and so gentle. They're the Fresh Eyes Maracuja Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover Wipes, but I just use them all over. And this lipstick here, I have a tutorial. I'll link it down below. This is a matte liquid lipstick. It just wipes off so easy. And it's so gentle. So I need to go online and purchase more of these like right after this video because I'm gonna run out. I feel so moisturizing and they freaking smell so good. Okay, so as you can see, all of the colors straight off the bat are very kind of wearable. There's nothing too bright, but there are some darker colors, some paler nude colors, slightly more like berry pink tones, and then some like neutrals and stuff. Whether you are a deep skin tone or a very fair skin tone, I think there'll be at least one color that'll look amazing on you. And they're all really wearable like everyday colors. So I'm gonna get started with the paler ones and work my way up to the darker ones So when I swatched these on my like hand, they were just so smooth like they were very smooth They were opaque. I only had to do one swipe and they were perfect. You know what I mean? Like they weren't you know, streaky or anything like that. They just looked really good. So I'm hoping that they will do the same thing on my lips. First, let me show you the packaging. They come in this like blue marbly kind of packaging. They've got the Tarte logo and on the bottom they have a little like swatch um, label and then that's what the bullet looks like. So this color here is called pink lemonade <sighs> They're so creamy I'm not sure if all of the finishes are the same. They kind of look like all of the finishes are the same But this is just like a slightly kind of satin creamy texture. It's not too creamy It doesn't feel like it's gonna slide around a lot, but it feels hydrating. It just feels like really good I can't this color is beautiful as well. It's just the perfect light pinky kind of nude color. Just everyday nude. It's not too pale. Like it just is a very flattering color. And it looks amazing with this eye makeup. So once again, that is called Pink Lemonade. Next up, let's do Beach Babe. So this is another kind of pinky undertoned color. Maybe a little bit darker. Oh, this is so pretty. I really experimented with many of Tarte's lip colors. So I'm really, really pleasantly impressed with these so far. That's that color, it's so pretty again, I love it. Once again, that is called Beach Babe. They just look so flattering, you know what I mean? Like they don't emphasize any lines in your lips. They just make your lips look plump just healthy. Next up is Skinny Dip and I swatched this one on my arm and it's a really nice kind of beige nude color. So it's less pink than the other ones. So that is what a skinny dip looks like. It is such a nice, you know, as I said, beige nude. It's like slightly kind of orangey. I really like it. This goes really, really well as well with this kind of bronzed warm eye. Again, that's called skinny dip. They feel so good, you guys. Like you have no idea. Next up, I'm going to do Salt Life. Life with a Y. <laughs> and this is a mauve kind of color, like a pinky, a purpley. I'm a big fan of this color. It's like the perfect everyday mauve pink color. Once again, that is called Salt Life. It looks so good with the blush I'm wearing as well. The blush I'm wearing is called Tarte Savored. Oh, it's a very Tarte day today. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to do Siesta. And this is a brownish pinky color. It's so hard to describe all these colors because they all start looking very similar. That's why I feel like a lip swatch video is important so you can kind of compare. Good tip for you guys if you still get confused is go to your favorite colors in this video and just screenshot me. I'll probably end up looking like like a really ugly screenshot, but you'll be able to compare each color because sometimes they do look quite similar and that's a good way to kind of, you know, figure out which one is your favorite. So yeah, this is Siesta. 
So that's how that one looks. It's a really flattering everyday kind of brown colour but yeah it's quite warm like it's got that pinky red undertone to it. It's really really flattering. I really like that one. So yeah once again that's called a Siesta. Next up is Rum Punch. Cute name. This is similar to the last one but maybe a little bit paler. This one's a lot more pink. This is actually beautiful. I didn't know if I'd like this but once it's on it's like the perfect My Lips But Better like really healthy colour. Just a good everyday slap it on. It'll look good with every single makeup look there is. It's very neutral and it just goes with my skin tone quite well. So once again that is called Rum Punch. Next up is Sun Kissed and this one is more of a pinky kind of colour, like a medium pinky colour. <gasps> this, got lipstick on my teeth, this is amazing. This is one of the most flattering pinks I've ever put on my face. Like it's there but it's not too bright. It's kind of like the perfect peachy pink. It just looks so flattering. I feel like I've said flattering a million times in this video, but this color is legit. Like, look at this. 100% favorite. Next up is Colada. And this is a little bit darker and a little bit more brown. This is just a really flattering, everyday kind of brown nude on me. Like, it's not too pale, it's not too dark. If you have a darker skin tone, it'll be a really nice light nude color. Or if you're super, super, super fair, it would look really nice as well. Like, it's a darker, but still wearable brown color. Got a really nice undertone to it as well. So, that one, again, is called Colada. Next up, I'm going to do Set Sail. And this is a deeper kind of berry color. That's how Set Sail looks. It's just, yeah, as I said, it's like a berry pink. Really nice if you want like a little bit more color than some of the other shades. Like it's got a little bit more pigment to it, like a little bit more brightness, I should say, not pigment. But it's still very, very wearable. And again, really pretty with this eye makeup as well. So once again, it's called Set Sail. Next up is called the Cruisin'. And this one is a lot more like a deepy, pinky, berryish. This would look incredible on people with tan to darker skin tones as well. Oh, I'm just imagining it now. Like, it's such a beautiful undertone. It's like a berry pink. Kind of similar to what I was wearing at the beginning of this video, except, of course, a little bit more creamy in the finish. I actually like that one a lot more than I first thought I would. Next up, I'm going to do 5 o'clock. And this is a deeper brownish color. Looks like it's got quite a warm undertone. That's how it looks. It's really, really beautiful on my skin tone. It's a little bit kind of vampy. It's quite sexy looking, you know? This would look incredible on dark skin tones. Or if you have like a really beautiful tan, I feel like it'll just set it off. So once again, that's called at five o'clock. Next up, I'm going to do Island Life. This one is a warm, pinky, like deep pink color. Oh, it's so pretty. It's quite funny because I saw this collection on like Instagram and everything, of course. Photos of each shade, not swatches, but just photos. And I was like, eh, like these look really boring. I was like, there's no tonal variation, which is kind of true. Like a lot of the colors are quite similar, but having them in real life and actually swatching them and playing with them, like my opinions completely changed. Like they are just such pretty colors. So once again, this color here is called Island Life. Next up, I'm going to do Escape. And this one here is again, a brighter kind of color. This one looks a little bit more reddish, but obviously with a bit of pink in there too. Okay, once it's on your lips, it's definitely just a really, really bold pink. It's really pretty. So once again, that is called Escape. And then next up, this one here is a very similar color, but it looks a little bit more coral. So this one is called Daiquiri. Oh my God. This is so pretty. Terrible application, but that color is absolutely beautiful. It's bright, it's bold. It actually looks a little bit more intense once it's on your lips rather than just in the tube. It's a beautiful color. So once again, that is called Daiquiri. Next up, I'm going to do Surf's Up. That's what Surf's Up looks like. It's just a really nice kind of coral brown color. It's like the perfect balance. It's a very, very, very warm, 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 orangey brown color. Once again, that's called Surf's Up. Next up, I'm going to do this pink here. It's called Popsicle. And I swatched this on my arm and it's a very bright kind of berry pink color. Probably one of the brightest shades there are. By the way, with these lipsticks, I would definitely use a lip liner just so you can get a nice sharp line. And because they are slightly kind of creamy-ish, I would just say a lip liner would help them stay in place even better and stay on for longer. But as you can see, this color is really bright. It's really cool. So yeah, once again, that's called a popsicle. I think it's a really, really flattering color for such a bold, bright shade. Next up, I'm going to do Beach Waves. And this is like the most solid, like neutral brown one that's in this collection, I would say, just from looking at it. So that's a 
Beach Waves and I would say this is the most patchy one I've come across so far but even then it's not too patchy like from where you are you probably can't tell it's just up close there's a little bit so I'd probably wear a lip liner underneath on the whole lip but I really love this color like I actually really do it's kind of like a slightly warm like grayish brown color like it's not too brown it's not too orange probably my favorite brown I've put on okay so yeah that is Beach Waves just beware of the slightly Pitchiness. The next one is called Vacay and this is a warm berry red once again or like a berry color not really a red. That's the thing with these lipsticks like the undertones are on point there are no shades that like wash you out or anything like all of them just look really healthy on your skin so I'm really really stoked with the color range but yeah that's what Vacay looks like. Next up is another brown and this one looks quite neutralish as well maybe slightly warm. This is called Boardwalk. Yeah, it's a little bit warmer than that other one that I said I loved that was a little bit patchy. Terrible application. But that's what Boardwalk looks like. It's a little bit more orangey, yellowish, like a little bit more brown, less grayish than the other one I loved. So yeah, that's Boardwalk. It's a beautiful color. Next up, I'm going to do High Dive and we're getting into the really dark colors now. It's a very deep, like grape purple. This is so pretty. High dye, definitely a favorite. Goes on very even. And it's just a really, really flattering, deep purpley berry color. Next up, let's do the brightest red in the collection quickly. It's called Miami Vice. Whoa, this is legit. That is a 10 out of 10 red. It's as simple as that. Miami Vice, this is like my perfect red. I love it. I love bright reds. And if you do as well, then this is for you. Now we've got like three kind of deep, deep browny, purpley colors. So first I'm gonna do this one. This is Berry Mojito. So of course I'm guessing it's gonna be a berry color. Stunning. Seriously, like of course you don't need every single color because there are some very similar colors in this collection, but ugh, I just feel like you can't go wrong. So that is what Berry Mojito looks like. It's so sexy. It's like a deep, dark, berry red color. Very vampy, sexy, just amazing. Now we have Yachting and this is again a dark berry color. This one's a little bit more purpley. So that is what Yachting looks like. Next up and the final shade. This is called Shades. Ooh. I don't even know what happened with that application. <laughs> Holy crap, that's so bad. Okay, this is like a muted kind of deep color. Like this is definitely the most bold deep color. It's not bright, you know what I mean? Like it's got a really kind of dull look to it, which I really like. I'd use a lip liner as well. So once again, that's called shades. And that is the last color. My lips don't feel too bad surprisingly either. Like I think it's just because all of these colors are quite moisturizing on my lips. They feel really hydrating. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've tried these and let me know what you think. Are you in love with them or do you not like them? Like let me know what you think. I personally really like them so far. Obviously I haven't worn them on my lips for like an extended period of time. So I don't know how well they last or anything like that. I imagine they would kind of fade throughout the day and they're definitely not transfer proof or anything like that. And now the sun is blowing up so I'm gonna go now. I hope you enjoyed once again and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!